what a month it's been since the initial explosion on the Deepwater Horizon oil platform just off Louisiana's coast. While the Gulf oil spill most directly impacts Louisiana and our immediate neighbors, people all across the country certainly share in our feelings of anxiety as the ongoing gushing of the well continues. They've also shared by joining together to provide relief for those most affected by this tragedy. And I know I speak for all Louisianians when I express how grateful we are for that outpouring of support. As we continue to work toward a recovery solution, none of us should lose sight that there are families who have lost loved ones. That is the greatest tragedy, something everyone in Washington should try a little harder to remember. I've also been all along Louisiana's coast over the last few weeks meeting with those economically devastated, oystermen and fishermen, mayors and local officials, and others hit hard by the impacts of the spill. They have clearly expressed that they don't want a handout, they want a job and a paycheck. And through the Vessels of Opportunity program, many of these folks have been hired to man the coastline and marsh protection efforts underway. But clearly, more needs to be done. From the annual blessing of the boats in Chalmette, a somber event this year, to the public meetings with the Vietnamese community in New Orleans that continues to struggle in working with BP on claims issues, I've listened, learned, and left with a much deeper perspective on how people's lives all along the coast have been disrupted. That's why it's so frustrating to many Louisianians that while the crisis actually continues in the Gulf, while, while we're still fighting to contain the well, Washington Democratic Committee chairmen have rushed to create media events for television cameras instead of devoting full attention to stopping the immediate problem. I guess it's typical of the culture in Washington for politicians to believe that they can solve an ongoing crisis with statements and testimonies in congressional committee rooms. But the time for committee hearings is for after the well has been capped, not before. Folks closer to the scene understand that. We want 100% of the attention of all parties focused on our two most immediate problems, stopping the gushing oil and protecting our coastlines and marshes from the oil. 